There's a new chemical in our food supply that's been detected in about 80% of Americans. Chlormethoc chloride is a plant growth chemical that the US EPA only allows for ornamental plants like flowers, not food. However, about six years ago, the EPA began allowing imported foods to use regulated amounts of this chemical. In 2020, they actually increased its allowance, not knowing the effects that it may have on humans and whether or not it's truly safe. Outside of the US, chlormethoc is primarily used on grain-based foods like oats, wheat, and barley, particularly in Canada, a major source of grain imports for the US. As of May of last year, chlormethoc was reported to be found in 92% of tested oat-based foods, including familiar big brand products like Quaker Oats and Cheerios. Because this chemical is relatively new, we can't be fully certain of the effects that it has on humans. However, we know for sure that in animal studies, it can reduce fertility, harm the reproductive system, and even alter fetal growth. What's truly concerning though is the widespread use of this chemical. While we know that chlormethoc generally leaves the body in around 24 hours, studies indicate that consumer exposure is increased increasing as detection rates have risen from 69% in 2017 to 90% in 2023. While there is an ongoing debate online about the health benefits or effects of oats and grains, I personally don't consume them frequently. However, I do believe that they could be a suitable part of your diet. You just have to make sure that they're free of all these chemicals and additives.